Okay, so I got my acrylic kit from Savvy Land off of Amazon. This is what comes in it. On the back, it shows you how to use it, how to prep your nails before you apply the acrylic and all that good stuff. Open it up here. It doesn't come with a primer for your nails, so you will have to purchase that before you can use this, before you apply. Otherwise, the acrylic will not stay on your nails. Just so you know, before you get it, it comes with cuticle oil, cuticle pushers, and these paper forms. I like to call them sticker forms because they're stickers, but this is how you use the cuticle pusher. It works pretty good to get all that junk off of your cuticles. So you want to make sure you get that off before you put acrylic on too, otherwise you will get lifting. And this is how you apply the paper forms. I'm not going to be using the paper forms in this. I'm just going to be putting the acrylic on some tips that I have. I didn't want to do a whole set today, so I just wanted to show you guys the colors and everything and how it works. This is the brush that comes with it. It's not pinched. When you get a brush, you need to make sure you clean all that dried stuff in there that holds the brush together in the package. It comes with a pink. This is what it looks like in powder form. The colors never look the same. Um, as the, It doesn't look the same as powder form as it does when you use the liquid with it. It comes with a nude. And that's what it looks like in powder form. And it comes with a clear. You always need a clear. Always need a clear. And powder form. These jars are small. It also comes with monomer and a little jar to put your monomer in. It's all small, but you have plenty to do a set or two of nails, maybe even a little more. These are the tips I'm going to be using to show you the colors. I'm going to start out with the nude, and I'm going to use the brush that came with it first so you can see. It's not pinched, so it's going to look streaky and plus the acrylic can get stuck in the bristles if it's not pinched, because it's not flat. The brush is not the easiest thing to use, so I'm gonna use the brush that I have. It's a bigger brush and it's pinched. So I'm gonna use that which makes it a lot easier to use. Which usually the brushes that come with starter kits are all the same, really. But the acrylic seems to be working pretty good. Has nice color to it. And when you start using acrylic, you're going to want to get yourself a nude and a pink because you use this a lot. And you're definitely going to want a clear because you will use clear all the time. You use that the most. This acrylic seems to work wonderfully with the monomer. It gives you plenty of time to work with it, so it'd be perfect for beginners. It's affordable. We all like that. I remember when I was starting out, I was looking for all the products that were the cheapest and it was definitely hard to find a good quality acrylic and monomer that was cheap, but this kit is affordable just to try 
the acrylic out to see if it's something that you might like, something that you can do. So, I mean, like I said, this is good for beginning. You just need to get yourself a good brush. I'm going to say that. Um, the brush that's in it, like I said, it comes, those kind of brushes come with every starter kit, seems like. And it's not pinched, and that's what makes it hard to work with. I think if you, if you take pliers, you can pinch it. If you can see my brush that I'm using now, there's like a dent in it where the bristles come out of the metal part. So it makes the bristle, it makes it flatter. So the acrylic doesn't get stuck in it as easy, and you don't get those streaky lines that you've seen when I used the brush that came with the kit. But the acrylic seems to work really good, so I definitely recommend it. Here I'm going to show you a different way of using both of the colors together. I'm just going to do an ombre on this one, just so you can see how both of the colors blend together nicely. After I do this ombre with both the colors, I'm going to put the clear on top. You want to make sure that you put a clear on top of well pretty much all of your colors so that way when you file you don't get patchy spots of color missing and faded color in certain spots just so you have a nice even nail but as you can see they blend together quite nicely like I said earlier these jars are small and um, the monomer bottle is small, but you run out of liquid monomer a lot faster than you do the powder. So you'll have plenty of the colors left over and the clear, you'll have that, the powder left over, but the monomer will probably run out about two sets, maybe three sets, uh, depending on how much you use when you apply a set and if you're a beginner it'll probably be like two sets and you'll have to get some more monomer but you will definitely have the colors left over. I decided to go ahead and take the clear and put it on a nail just so you can see how clear it is. It's actually pretty clear. All of these starter kits come with a little tiny file so I used that to smooth out each of the nails before I put a top coat on. This kit doesn't come with a top coat or a primer or anything of that like that, so you'll have to purchase your own, but I'm gonna be using the top coat that I have here. So you can see what it looks like with a nice shiny top coat. These colors are nice. They're pretty and it works perfectly with the monomer. Like it gives you plenty of time to work with the product before it sets up. So that will make it fantastic for beginners. Um, I'm picky with my monomer, like the smell, I'm picky about that. And unfortunately this monomer is pretty strong smelling to me. But, I mean, monomer is strong. It, it's smelly. <laughs> but, yeah. I've been using a different one for a while. And you kind of figure out which one works best for you. And you kind of get attached to different products. And I use a different one. But these colors and everything are fantastic. And... Like I said earlier, the brush, those kind of brushes always can't come in every starter kit. It's just a cheap brush. You're going to have to spend some money to get a good brush. And I think Savvy Land has some other acrylic brushes too that you can check out. If you want a good acrylic brush, there, you're going to have to spend at least $30, depending on what size you get. 
25 to $30. So when you start out, size eight is usually a good size to start at, but honestly, when I started, I tried every size. So it is completely up to you. I just wanted to show you how clear the clear acrylic was. So I just did a plain nail of that as well. Here's that, I'm gonna cure and I'll be right back so you can see. Here's all the colors with the top coat on there. Nice little ombre, they blend very nicely together. This one, you can see it kind of marbles a little bit, but I did get it a bit wet. If you drain the bead off of your brush with the acrylic on there, it kind of makes it a darker color and sometimes I forget about that and then I get two different shades. So that was probably my fault. And the cuticle oil. I love these little things. They're so convenient. You can just throw them in your purse. So when you get some dry, cause I always forget to put cuticle oil on. And when you first get them, you're gonna have to turn it quite a few times before it comes out. Might hold up, I tipped it. But yeah, that's always the deal with a pump or these things, lip gloss like containers. Come on, baby. There she goes. Mmm, it smells so nice. It's like strawberry. Ah, I got a little cut there. Don't mind my my nails. I just removed my cuticle or my cuticle, my acrylic set that I had on. So yeah, I need to replenish these babies because I'm gonna be putting another set on, and my nails are tore up. Years of acrylic. This is kind of oily feeling, but super good for your nails and your cuticles. But there you have it.